The Greco-Persian Wars were a long series of wars fought between the Persian Empire and the Greek city-states. Cyrus the Great of Greece had a desire, and that was Greece. He wanted to move Persia from the, from the west into the East Mediterranean and conquer the Greek islands. The Greek islands include many different islands, like the island of Crete, and some islands, like, and some aren't even islands, like Epirus, Macedonia, and some, like, smaller states, Athens and Sparta, and don't get me wrong, there are hundreds and thousands of different city-states and islands in Greece. All of them have their own self-governing rule and have their, have their own self-governing of power. Now, Cyrus the Great kind of underestimated them, seeing that they were little, uh, little tiny states. He moved his troops from Anatolia into Thrace, therefore entering into Macedonia. He invaded Macedonia and then sieged his troops into Epirus. From Epirus, he moved his troops and the, into Athens and the big island, of course. Athens, the Athenians didn't stand a chance and looked to their Spartan ally. Now, why did they go to Sparta? Well, Sparta is, very, is descended from Persia. The, the Persians, they had built body strength and they could easily overthrow and destroy and push out the Persians. But the problem with that um, was the Persian, the Spartans were celebrating a religious festival. The battle of uh, the battle of Marathon, an Athenian Athenian had to run over to the Spartans all the way to Athens, Sparta, to tell the news. But unfortunately, they, uh, as you know, they're like celebrating to um, a religious festival. To the Athenians' extent, they died. The Athenian to the Athenian man, he later died. According to this, the Athenians couldn't stand a chance of what the battle alone. However, they did win the battle of the battle of Marathon. They pushed out the, the they pushed out the Persians, the Persians off cliffs and won the battle of Marathon. As you know, Battle of Marathon is called Battle of Marathon for some reason. Huh. Anyway, by this time, the Spartans didn't refuse to join the war. They just had to get rid of their to celebrate the religious festival. After the celebration, the Spartans joined the war. Now, the Spartans, now they have a better chance of winning. The Spartans now joined the war and moved troops into uh, the Persian invaded Athens and to aid their ally. Now, according to this, the Spartans had good chances. The Macedons, led by Alexander the Great, came to power, and they later came to power and help Alexander growing Macedonia into a great empire. According to this, the Greek city-states joined Macedonia to form the Empire of Macedon, or the Kingdom of Macedon, or the Macedonian Empire, or just Macedonia and Greece, whatever you want to call it. By this extent, there has been revolts in Persia against, against uh, Cyrus. Uh, and according to this, Darius um, or Cyrus was murdered by a was murdered. This gave Alexander a chance, and he moved his troops quickly into Persia, into Anatolia, Anatolia, Turkey, Persian Turkey, and into Avant, trying to capture his lands. This would lead to Alexander the Great's conquest of Persia and many other wars. Um, in, in many other wars fought. As a result, the Greco-Persian Wars ended, and this would result to Macedonia, the Macedon conquests of the Persian Empire, and the fall of the Persian Empire, and the fall of the Kingdomid Empire, of the first Persian Empire, and start of a new age.